بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. There are some specific acts that are available in the books of dua and ibadat narrated specifically for the night of the 23rd of the holy month of Ramadan. Out of these ibadat which are, which are specific to these nights are recitation of three chapters from the holy Quran. At, uh, these three chapters are Surah Ar-Rum, the Romans, which is chapter number 30, reciting Surah Al-Dukhan, the smoke, chapter 44, and reciting Surah Al-Ankabut, which is chapter 29. And very briefly, why these three chapters, why these three surah from the Holy Quran? Because, for example, Surah Ar-Rum uh, explains why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this creation as a proof of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's presence and his creations and his, his presence in the human beings, in the souls and the lives of us mankind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks of his signs present in the creation of the world. Um, and in human beings, the wisdom behind the running of the universe and the power and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so one once one recites these verses of the holy Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be able to notify the mankind of his his powers and his his creations and his presence in the lives of mankind inshallah and why one may ask why was it called the Romans is because there was a prophecy uh, that the Romans or the Roman Empire at the time was going to um, defeat the the Persian Empire. So the Muslims who were the worshippers of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala were afraid that this uh, this this uh, this empire who were idol worshippers who were the Persian Empire they were going to overpower and defeat the those religions uh, who are worshipping Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So it is it is uh, well advised for one to recite Surat Al Rum. Uh, Surah Al-Dukhan again speaks about the, the smoke that will uh, envelope uh, the earth before the day of judgment. Again, another uh, sign, another uh, remembrance from, from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala towards the, the, the adab that will befall those who are away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some refer to this as being the smoke that before will befall uh, there are those who are going to transgress and those who who are going to be uh, far away from the uh, path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also in this surah, Surah Al-Dukhan, there is a mention of Laylat Al-Qadr. Uh, there is a mention of Laylat Al-Qadr in two occasions in the Holy Quran. One of them in Surah Al-Qadr, Inna Anzalnahu Fi Laylat Al-Qadr. And the other in this surah, Surah Al-Dukhan, where Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, in an indirect manner, in an indirect way, uh, speaks about Laylat Al-Qadr. And we said that Laylat Al-Qadr is the night that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala brought down the Holy Quran in one manner, in one go, uh, rather than bringing down verses from the Holy Quran during the 20 or so years upon the Holy Prophet of Islam. So this is one of the chapters uh, recommended to be recited. And the next chapter and the third chapter is Surat Al-Ankabu, chapter 21. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, talks about the fra fragility of the false gods. There are those individuals who worship false gods. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how those religions and those ways of lives are far away from the kindness kindness of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this earth. And again, some of the verses from this chapter is uh, speaking about the trials of the believer and, uh, and distinguishing factors of uh, the hypocrites that uh, uh, openly uh, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or they disguise themselves with the clothing of, of worshippers, but inside them they are uh, the, the, the furthest away from worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second remembrance in this ayah, in this chapter, is that um, 
speaks about the trials and tribulations faced by the prophets, previous prophets. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us examples of how the previous prophets were uh, facing problems in their lives from their uh, people and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advises mankind and wants us as human beings to be ready to face any trials and tribulations and tests and difficulties for the sake of Allah in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And some of the uh, other ad'iyya uh, to be recited on these nights as I said Dua Jawshin Al-Kabir, Dua Abi Hamza Thumali, Dua Al-Baha re repeating the Surah Laylatul Qadr, Surah Al Qadr, a hundred times. There are some narrations that say a thousand times. If you are able to repeat recitation of the Surah, Surah Al Nanza Nafi Laylatul Qadr, a hundred times or a thousand times, there is Turak Al Salah, as I mentioned in the previous episodes. It's similar to Salat Al Subh. You pray specific to this night. Uh, after reciting Surah Al Hamdu, Surah Al Fatiha, you repeat Surah Al Tawheed seven times. You finish the prayer and you do Tasbihatul Zahra and you engage in repeating Astaghfirullah Rabbi wa Tubu 70 times and don't forget to conclude all of these supplications these nights with the supplication and the dua and the prayer for Imam Al Mahdi Ajarallahu Ta'ala Farajo Sharif as he is the one that going to have the ultimate say and the ultimate signing on our books of A'mal and what will be destined for us in the next coming year. I will pray for you and no, and no doubtedly you will not forget us in your dua. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.